Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rat Tarot. Uh, I'm Rat and in this whole video we are going to look into Pisces and their week for December 7th to December 13th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you are going to see a full list of my services and uh, as well their pricing. And also, if you are interested in learning tarot and uh, you want me to uh, teach you of it, you can go for online classes as well, which are uh, under the tarot classes section at the website. So with that being said, let's uh, move to the reading straight away. And the first card that we do have for you, Pisces, which represents the very topic of your week, that is going to be the Four of Wands. Uh, followed by the second one, which stands as the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic, that will be the energy of the King of um, King of Cups, and um, I, it looks like that is going to be a very good week for you guys. A lot is going to be done and accomplished throughout the week just from those two cards. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week, and that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week, and that is going to be the Nine of Swords. Afterwards, it is the impression of the people around, what they see when they look at you. That will be the, the Star card. Followed by the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the positive aspects which are going to help you push forward, that will be the Three of Pentacles. And the last one, which stands as the guidance that Saro is offering to you, that will be the Three of Wands. Like said, a lot is to be accomplished uh, from your side throughout that week, for what it seems with those cards. So, <clears throat> looking at the first two, what is going to be the topic? Well, the topic, if I have to classify it by one sentence, is about uh, completion of important cycles in life. And then moving to the next cycle. Now, the thing with the four of uh, wands, it is that you complete a stage, which is a cycle, and then you do move to the next stage, which is a one level above. If you are a gamer, you probably know what I'm talking about. And if you are a gamer also, um, you do know how that things works. You you just finish the stage of dating and you then you do move to the next level where you do move together, for example, uh, move in together, I'm sorry, or you get engaged. You do finish a project and then another cycle comes about with the even more important project, more lucrative project and so on and so forth. So that will be a week where you are going to reach completion of certain stages of your life moving to the next stages to the next level uh, that uh, itself is going to make uh, important pieces or rather like important aspects of the life itself pretty much to fall together or how can i say to to, to fix themselves together to, to snap into the pieces of the puzzle uh, and that is going to cause you to feel very good. Uh, some of you are going to have a uh, reason to celebrate as well for the job well done. And in general, the four of ones are predisposed for a hard work, and I mean really hard work, to come to bear and pretty much to now enjoy the fruits of the labor that you put it into that hard work there. Uh, and that will be supported by the energy of the King of Cups, which is the energy of first and foremost extreme, and I mean extreme professionalism. So that is more career oriented um, reading and is going to affect more within your career, but also within your relationship, because the professionalism within the relationship is when you are mature about your emotions and about your feelings. It is when you do not shout out loud, you know, how much somebody means to you, but when you do something to show that to them, when, when you do share your emotions only with those who are worthy for your emotions, and that is going to be the necessity for you. This is what the, the energy is pretty much are going to make you do throughout the week to, to take a very um, justified and, um, how can I say, uh, professional, I don't know how to say it the other way around, professional decisions in regards to your relationship 
put in regards to your job and as well you are to tame your emotions not to allow them to run wild and uh, twist and tangle your heart but instead you are going to know how to put it how to put them where to put them and when to put those emotions into uh, into work and the last thing which is more practical those energies may uh, bring to you a quite of an unexpected offer and quite of an unexpected um, help that may come about so uh, moving next we do have the uh, challenges that you do have to overcome throughout the week and that is going to be the ten of pentacles um, it's not much of a challenge really but that is how to be more effective or proficient if i may say it that way with the resources that you are going to find yourself with uh, because when you do finish that cycle of development and you are to move to the next stage that cycle is going to produce results so what is the next stage how exactly to tackle the next stage and uh, the challenge here it is how to tackle it in a way that you are going to feel most comfortable in it now another thing that it is more worrisome about challenge is about the deals you are going to make either business deals or a personal deals here as an emotional deals because for one or another reason challenging to you is going to be to maintain your independence and, and how can I say your freedom so throughout the week especially if that's about an offer like I said or about a helping hand that comes about uh, you are gonna tie yourself with someone or with a, uh, with a society circle of people that may play a little bit of a detrimental role moving forward into the future so try to be as independent as possible when you do strike your contracts and when you do strike your deals as well when you when you are negotiating and the last thing that is going to be very very challenging to you is the forgiveness if somebody betrays your trust it will be very difficult for you to forgive them for what it seems but you have to for everybody deserves a second chance not a third one but a second one okay so moving next uh, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy and that is going to be the nine of uh, the nine of swords here pretty easy uh, you are to be gifted with the strength with the strength to stand against your fears and more particularly the fears of the consequences that your actions are going to cause um, what is going to be the reason of that strength you are going to have I cannot really say but within this week regardless what you have in mind to do regardless where that completion of a cycle leads you to you are not going to be afraid anymore that for example your partner in life is going to leave you for something you're doing or for something you're saying or for something you are uh, deciding in favor of nor you are going to be afraid that you're going to be laid off from your work for the for the reason stated above okay so it's it's like you will be free from this safeguard or safe switch that usually works to our detriment if I'm maybe if I am uh, rolling back the uh, the tape and thinking of myself that what deprives us of uh, pretty much makes progress the, the, the biggest thing that deprives us of making progress it is the fear of the consequences of our actions but you want that doesn't mean that you would not be mindful for those consequences but if certain consequences are going to be um, say um, unpleasant to deal with but you do know that that is for best for the best or for you that is you are not going to be afraid to tackle with them at all so moving next we do have the uh, impression of the people around or this is how people are going to see you and um, we have the uh, star card so people are going to see you very optimistic obviously with the star card also a person with a high standards you have completed a cycle you have uh, make an, uh, you have made an accomplishment and now you are moving to the next thing which is one level above so your standard raises your expectation raises people also 
are going to see you as an individual who is actually fighting for something. You do have a fulcrum, you do have a, a, a goal, and that is something that you are very much looking forward to. And, and pretty much this is the, uh, the impression that you are leaving into the people around, that your life is just beginning, that you have done the hard part, and now from there, you know, you are, it's not like you are not going to put your efforts into, into your work or into your relationship, but you are not going to do it sluggishly. You are not going to do it like you are toiling for it, okay? But instead, it will be more, how can I, it's not, the word is not carefree, but with ease. It just is going to happen with ease. And uh, some as well, if you are in love, um, people are going to see your unfolding love out there. When they look at you, they are going to see you shine because of it. Uh, and um, uh, in a more practical way with the star card, pretty much uh, say your boss or your supervisor is going to, when, when they look at you and what you have done, they are going to be proud of you and uh, pretty much are going to give you a promise looking at that card for they will see that you do deserve it. That could be the offer, that could be the helping hand that comes about. Moving next, we do have the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down, and that is the Eight of Pentacles, and that refers to your nature of perfectionism, where you do want everything to happen by the book, and that makes you being stuck into the details, not paying attention to the overview instead, and way too much thinking into, uh, into one specific plan, once again, not realizing that if you do change a small thing here and there, the plan is going to be far better than you do have in mind. That is, um, I don't know how to explain it really, but with the Eight of Pentacles, it's, it's more important to uh, focus on the goal rather than to, uh, in this position I mean, in the normal position, then you should focus on the means, how to reach the goal, rather than on the goal itself. But here, as it falls as a obstacles, you should focus on the goal instead, rather than the means, how to get there. The means, they are gonna come on their own accord, and you pretty much should work with whatever you can. You are gonna have an abundance of means. They may not be perfect, like I said, but they are going to be abundant. And uh, pretty much if you do put your thoughts behind, um, you are going to find a way, no problem whatsoever. On another standpoint here, uh, the Eight of Pentacles, especially when it comes to personal life, uh, it could be a detriment that you are pretty much seeking unneeded attention. Uh, that is not going to be applying to every single Pisces. But again, if you, if you do have such an affinity, that is going to work to your detriment for at some point, you are going to find yourself not knowing which is sincere and which isn't. And that again leads you to trying to look into the details uh, and being very suspicious toward every word that being said to you. So you have to constrain yourself only to the um, uh, to, to the people uh, and in general to the attention that really helps you look into the future rather than to bring memories from the past. And the last thing that may happen with this card in regards to obstacle here is your personal Pisces um, affinity, if I may say it that way, not to go through a ups and downs. Eight of Pentacles, it is when Imagine it like a blacksmith that forges a blade. That blade goes through fire and then water so it can be quenched, right? And that is how your next cycle starts with ups and downs. It goes through fire and through water and you have to be ready to face the good and the bad. Or how can I say the pleasant and unpleasant. And the denial of the unpleasant disrupts the balance and it is exactly what throws you into looking into the small things there, trying to make it as perfect as, pa as possible so there is no unpleasant experiences or no unpleasant moments. There are going to be, they are unavoidable for your 
thing, your, your, your endeavor, it's like a coin, it goes with both sides, it goes with S, but it has its tails as well. Uh, moving next, we do have the positive aspects which are going to help you push your things forward. That is going to be the Three of Pentacles. So uh, with the Three of Pentacles here, you are going to have an enormous support from the people around that have been sown and sown as well, uh, or seen, I'm sorry, as well in the Star card. People are going to be very cheerful. They will pretty much, that is kind of like baffling in these days, but that being said, your colleagues are going to be very joyful around you. They would want to give you the help, the support, all the support you need. Uh, but that's with the Three of Pentacles comes through a little bit of a criticism, okay? And uh, this time around, you are going to take on this criticism in a constructive way. Now, instead of being, um, what can I say, offended by it, you're going to see a reason behind it and that is going to simply make you better. So you can expect that throughout this week to be involved in a lot of cooperation, fruitful discussions as well, negotiations and in generally teamwork. And that teamwork it is what is going to help you push forward. And the beauty of this teamwork it is that you are going to team yourself up with people that could be your mentors as well, people that you do praise for the good job that they have done or for the good results that they have uh, accomplished, okay? And they are gonna guide you so you can have yours as well. And uh, the last one here, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Pisces, that is the Tree of Wands. And uh, the guidance says that if you do have, uh, if you do underestimate yourself, please stop for you are, going, you are doing a really good job in regards to your personal life and in regards to your career. If you are finding yourself in a dark place, that is just for the things I stated beforehand for the, ten of, uh, for the Eight of Pentacles, you are trying to make it way too perfect. Now, that being said, means and goal is diff are different things and goal involves expectations. And as the guidance is the Tree of Wands, your expectations should be, men, should be met regardless of the means. And uh, with the Three of Wands as a guidance, those expectations could be met when you do challenge yourself to simply be better, since you are going to be better by looking at, at the previous uh, cards and especially with the encouragement of the Three of Pentacles, the collective around you, the people around you that they are. <clears throat> and um, eventually where you are going to end up is at a uh, place, should you follow here the guidance and, and the, um, how can I say, the energy of this, re of this reading, according to Tarot, you're going to end up in a place where you're going to be very proud of yourself, sitting on a very solid patterns and well-established foundations as well. So, uh, that being said, guys, uh, thank you so, so much for watching. That was your um, weekly Tarot reading for December 7 to December 13th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.